Hey you, welcome back to YT Finance and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to and today we are talking about the best stocks to buy as well as the latest stock market news updates that investors need to know about. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories and with that being said, let's get right into it. As you can see on screen, the year-to-date returns of the NASDAQ, the SP500, and the Dow Jones have been absolutely phenomenal. And it seems that the good news just keeps getting better, considering that investors are hoping that in the future, the Federal Reserve will decide to cut interest rates, which will act as a positive catalyst for the general stock market. But that's not all, because we've also seen a company named Wingstop jump by around 41.25% year-to-date, up to $356.30. So this is great news for Wingstop investors. This company has also jumped to more than 380% over the last five years. So if you want to add this company to a watch list, feel free to do so, but always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Next up on the list, we're going to have a quick crypto news story in regards to Sam Bankman Fried. If you didn't know, this guy operated a cryptocurrency exchange called FTX. The problem here is that he was a fraud and he has created over 1 million victims who have lost around 10 billion dollars once FTX collapsed. Therefore, Sam Bankman Fried will stay around 40 to 50 years in prison because of this. And honestly, don't do the crime if you can't do the time here. This is why you always need to make sure to do your own research, even though many investors actually decided to back him. Many very popular YouTubers made loads of money off of FTX when it was originally launched. And this would include major names on the YouTube platform. However, I'm not personally going to name them, but just know that I personally never advocated to join his cryptocurrency platform. Next up, we have a quick news update in regards to United Airlines. If you didn't know, I personally hold United Airlines in my portfolio, and the reason they're in the news today is because the FAA is looking at a way to curb its growth. This would even include limiting its ability to add new routes, and clearly, this is going to negatively impact their overall share price. So I'd love to hear your thoughts about this story down below in the comments. Next up, let's talk about some of the best stocks to buy right now, and shockingly, it would be Cruise stocks, which we've mentioned in previous videos. Carnival reported that more vacationers are leaning towards cruises, which is great news for their business. This is one of the many reasons that Cardinal sailed past the, their earnings and sales expectations in quarter four. But this surge in demand did not just impact Carnival positively, because they also impacted Norwegian Cruise Line and Royal Caribbean very positively as well. The reason we know this is that last month, Norwegian Cruise reported its first profitable year since 2019. On top of that, we also saw Royal Caribbean touting their record annual booking. So overall, this has been great news for Carnival, Norwegian Cruise Lines, and Royal Caribbean. That's why I would highly encourage investors to look into any or all of these companies for the best stocks to buy right now based upon this surge of demand. Next up, let's talk about Palantir Technologies, ticker symbol PLTR. If you didn't know, we've reported on Palantir quite a lot here, and their business is rapidly growing thanks to the enthusiasm surrounding their artificial intelligence intelligence platform. Palantir's AI platforms are being used both commercially as well as in government agencies, and this just makes them a two-hit wonder. We even see prominent analysts such as Daniel Ives from Wed Bush say this, and I quote, Many U.S. enterprises are poised to use AIP to develop their AI systems. Therefore, he completely backs Palantir Technologies, and he believes that this company could reach a share price of over $30 per share over the next 12 months. You should also be aware, in a previous news update, we predicted that Palantir Palantir Technologies would win the U.S. Army's Next Generation Targeting Systems contract, and that's exactly what happened. Palantir reported on March 6th that they had won a three-year, $178 million deal to develop the U.S. Army's Next Generation Targeting System, which will utilize artificial intelligence. This has been phenomenal news for Palantir Technologies and especially their share price, which has overall invigorated investors to continuously buy their stock. However, there is a catch here that you need to be aware of before you do your own due diligence on this company. Starting off, we need to note that out of 19 analysts, only 5 of them have a strong buy rating or a buy rating on this company, while 7 have a hold rating and the rest have a sell rating or a strong sell rating. Lastly, you should be aware that this company has a forward price to earnings ratio of 74 times, making this company rather expensive at their current share price. Now, the flip side to this is that Palantir is growing so rapidly that many investors
investors believe that they will grow in to this valuation, meaning that their current accounting ratios in regards to their PE ratio and PS ratio are not that bad. But just so you know, I personally hold this company in my portfolio, so I'd love to hear your thoughts about Palantir Technologies down below in the comments. Next, let's talk about Reddit, which is a social media company which recently had their IPO, and their ticker symbol is RDDT. Originally, Reddit had an initial public offering where their shares were worth only $34, but since then it has skyrocketed to $47, and then from $47 up to $59 per share. We even see Reddit being backed by major investors, including the CEO of OpenAI named Sam Altman. He is one of the largest shareholders in Reddit, holding approximately 7 0.6% of this company, according to their outstanding shares. You should also be aware that Reddit is a very popular social media company, which averaged around 73.1 daily active users. This actually represents an impressive growth rate from their original 57.5 million users from the year prior. So overall, I would say Reddit is clearly one of the best stocks to buy right now, and I would recommend you look further into this company. Now, if you're familiar with my opinion about Reddit, I said that the company will surge in their share price initially, and then eventually it's going to pull back aggressively so please be aware of the pullback. As of right now, I am awaiting for this company to pull back, and that's when I personally am going to buy into this company, but again, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments about this company. Speaking about big-time investors investing into interesting stocks, let's talk about Bill Ackman, which recently purchased more Google or Alphabet shares, ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L or G-O-O-G. If you didn't know, Bill Ackman is one of the world's top hedge fund managers, and he has been buying the parent company of Google named Alphabet and over fist lately. If you are an investor and you are not already invested into Google or if it's not on a watch list, I would highly recommend you look further into this company. Alphabet's GOOGL stock or GOOG stock is at a perfect buying opportunity in my opinion, and here's why I think that. Over the past 12 months, Google stock has been on an absolute run, considering that Google's Gemini has been seen as the chief rival to OpenAI's ChatGPT. Therefore, looking further into Google could be a great investment move, considering that many professionals believe that Google will own and operate one of the best and most advanced artificial intelligence systems in the future. Next up, let's talk about SoFi Technologies, which is a fintech company, and their ticker symbol is SOFI. For context, I personally hold a SoFi Technologies ticker symbol SOFI in my personal portfolio, and they recently impressed with their quarter four results, which indicated an increase in efficiency and market demand. The main reason why I like this company is that fundamentally, this company is very solid, and that's why I think they are a buy buying opportunity right now. The author of this article would also agree with me, considering that he believes SoFi stock could be among the most overlooked companies worth buying as of right now, and I completely agree with him. Essentially, SoFi operates as a digital bank, which means that their share price will be fluctuating based upon interest rates. However, like we said in the beginning, once the Federal Reserve decides to lower interest rates, this is going to act as a very positive catalyst not only for the general stock market, but specifically for growth stocks, technology stocks, and finance stocks. SoFi Technologies actually fits into two of those categories, considering that they are both a finance company and a technology company, which means that once interest rates are lowered, this will act as a very positive catalyst, thus thrusting momentum into their share price, pushing it even higher. This means that the company has multiple upcoming catalysts in the future, but even if those catalysts don't happen, this company is still a great buying opportunity. The first reason why this company is a buying opportunity is because they have upcoming catalysts. The second reason is that they have a well-known brand the third reason is that they have an easy to use interface, and the fourth reason is that their accounting ratios are very impressive. As an example, this company's price to sales ratio is only 3.7 times, and when we consider the company's current growth rate, this is very cheap, which makes right now a great buying opportunity to get into this company. In the end, SoFi stock is among one of the more overlooked companies in the finance world, but overall, I think they are going to have a phenomenal future. But always make sure to do your own research to ensure that it's good for your personal portfolio. Next up, let's talk about a very innovative artificial intelligence stock, which you probably have heard of because we've reported on them multiple times, and that would be none other than Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI. The reason why Super Microcomputer, ticker symbol SMCI, is back in the news today is because JP Morgan initiated coverage on this artificial intelligence focused server company with an overweight rating and a $1,150 price target, which is great news for investors. A JP Morgan analyst in a note even said this about the company, and I quote, Super Micro is the leading company in the AI computer 
market, which is burgeoning with demand stemming from training AI models. He goes on to say, We expect the leadership to continue, led by a balance of custom-built solutions and fast time to market, although potential upside is more likely from rapid expansion in the AI server market rather than expansion of the already premium valuation multiple. End quote. But what the analyst adds next is the reason why I personally have been investing into this company for quite a while now, where he says this, and I quote, Our optimism for upside from SMCI shares is more driven by a rapid increase in expectations of the size of the AI server market, which is already estimated to expand from $41 billion in 2023 to $283 billion in 2028, end quote. Therefore, supermicrocomputers revenues could grow at a compounding annual growth rate of 43% from now until 2027, which is astronomical. And that's why investors need to get in on this company right now. However, like I said before, always make sure to do your own research before you make any investment decision. Speaking about companies that are exploding in their growth rates, let's talk about CyberArk Software, ticker symbol CYBR, and I'm literally about to buy into this company. CyberArk Software literally boosted their earnings growth by 406%. And for context, this is a cybersecurity company which competes directly with CrowdStrike, Palo Alto Networks, and Zscaler, just to name a few. Now, you should know that I own CrowdStrike, Palo Alto Networks, and Zscaler, and like I said, I'm about to buy into CyberArk software, and here's why. Currently, CyberArk commands the highest possible composite rating of a 99. Literally, you cannot have a better rating. This means that CrowdStrike and CyberArk software are extremely comparable considering that they both have a 99 composite rating, which is great news for future investors into this company. However, here's the real kicker. Recently, CyberArk continued to impress their investors in their earnings by posting a 406% gain to 80 one cents per share, but the news gets even better. This is because analysts expect those triple digit gains to continue over the next two quarters. That means their next two earnings reports are going to be extremely positive, which should ignite their overall share price, pushing their share price even higher. And that's why I think investors should get into this company right now. Clearly, you're not going to go wrong by investing into Palo Alto Networks, Zscaler, CrowdStrike, or CyberArk. And for me, I like owning all of these companies because they are the best in their respected spaces. So if you want a company that is literally approaching upcoming catalysts in regards to earnings reports, then CyberArk is the company for you. At minimum, put this company on a watch list, and I would love to hear your thoughts about this company down below. With that being said, go ahead and annihilate that like button right now. Subscribe if you are new. Comment down below your thoughts about any or all of these stories, and with that being said, I will see you in the next YT video.